All right, so here we are. We've put a uh, new S SSD in this laptop, and it's a Windows 10 laptop. It's a Dell 5520, but this will probably work for other laptops as well. We've got our Windows disk boot disk in there, and we're going to go install. What I'm going to do now is show you the problem quickly, and then we'll walk through the fix real quick. Okay, here we go. Yes, we're going to agree to that because nobody reads this. And I want to custom install. I want to do a fresh install. What do we have here? We see there is no SSD. Where are my drives? We couldn't find any drives. Hmm. Okay. So now I'm going to show you how to fix this on this laptop. We're going to start by rebooting. Now we're going to hold tap F2 a few times as the computer starts. This will put us into the BIOS. Alright, you can see we're in the BIOS now. These modern computers are the UEFI configuration. And it's a little different than the older style drive swaps, which we're used to. So we'll go under system configuration, and I want you to see, if I go, hmm, where was it? Ah, system information here at the top. If I go under system information, I scroll down, you can see the SSD is shown. So the BIOS is seeing the SSD, but Windows is not. So what we're going to do is come over to SATA operation. And by default on these Dells, uh, it has RAID on. And we're going to switch it to a AHCI. This says SATA operation is being changed. Attention, this might ruin your system, yada yada. Yes, I do want to change it. And then I'm going to go down here at the bottom and hit apply. And we're going to save as custom user settings. Check that box. Hit OK. All right. Now we're going to exit. And this will reboot the system. OK, so we're back. We booted with our Windows boot disk. And what we want to do is check. We're going to use a tool called Disk Part. And we're going to check real quick if we can see the disk and we're going to clean it so that it's ready to be formatted and a fresh install of Windows put on there. So what you can do is start by hitting Shift F10 or uh, Function Key Shift F10. This will bring up a command prompt for you. And now we're just going to type Disk Part, all one word, hit Enter. And we're going to wait for this utility to load. All right, now that that's loaded, we're going to type list spacebar disk. And then hit enter. And now we can see that Windows can see our one terabyte hard drive. This is great news. Now we need to clean that disk, so we're going to select that disk. So we're going to select disk 0. Disk 0 is now the selected disk. Okay, so now any commands we give to it, it's only going to affect that particular disk. And we're just going to tell it to clean it. Simple command, clean, hit enter. Disk part succeeded in cleaning the disk. That's great. All right, now we can exit. And then we can close this window. And now we will proceed with the Windows installation as you normally would. I'm making this video because when I did this install on another laptop, 
a few days ago. I fought with this for a few hours until I figured it out. So hopefully this will help someone else and you can save yourself a lot of time and frustration. So again, we're gonna accept the license terms. I'm gonna say I want a custom install, I just want Windows only. And look there, now we've got our drive. I'm gonna select the drive, we're gonna hit new. It's gonna ask what size you wanna make the partition. Just hit apply. This is just saying to ensure all features work correctly, Windows is gonna create a few additional partitions. So it's gonna lay out the drive as it needs to. So we're gonna hit, we're fine with that. We're gonna hit okay. Now you see you've got a few, few partitions here and you can see the size. Uh, what you wanna do is pick the drive with the largest, or the partition with the largest size here. That's where we wanna install. And we're gonna go next, and Windows is gonna start installing. So, I hope that helps somebody. Uh, thanks for watching.